For better or worse, Fallout 4 did away with the skill and perk system of Fallout 3 and New Vegas, but they still kept a few of the perks from prior games. I'm only interested in one of them. Can you beat Fallout 4 with only the Mysterious Stranger perk? I'm gonna spoil the entire video by telling you now that I did not play through all of Fallout 4 using only the Mysterious Stranger perk as my method of attack. I'll explain why. Unlike something like the Pain Train perk, which guarantees damage, provided all the requirements are met, strength of 10, power armor, and a fusion core so you can sprint, there is never a 100% chance that the Mysterious Stranger will attack. The perk has four levels. Level 1 requires luck of 4, and the Mysterious Stranger has a 10% chance to appear when attacking an enemy in VATS. That increases up to 14% at the perk's third level. But it differs from past games in that luck has no bearing on how frequently he appears. This means that you can't use chems or armor to better the odds that he'll get off his ass and help you. There is a rank 4 for the perk, but all it does is increase the likelihood that your critical meter gets filled when you kill someone, which is just about the most useless thing I can imagine. A sandpaper enema has more value to me than that. 14% odds are not great. If you've ever saved scummed your way through a speech check in Fallout 3, you know how bad that is. If you attempt it 20 times, statistically, you'll get it about 3 times. But when it comes to the mysterious stranger, there are other variables to consider. For one thing, it's not guaranteed that he'll kill whoever he's shooting at. At lower levels, he probably will, but you don't get rank 3 of the perk until you're at level 41. So you'll be going up against some tough shit, and we haven't even gotten into the math of it yet. For the sake of consistency, let's assume that the Mysterious Stranger always gets a one-hit kill. If you have the mental capacity to click on this video, you probably understand what 14% means as a probability for something to happen. If you were to use VATS to attack 100 people, theoretically, you would summon the Mysterious Stranger 14 times. But that's not really how it works in the real world. Because of the nature of this challenge, if you use VATS and he doesn't show up to kill your target, you failed the challenge. You already know what I'd do in that scenario. I'd reload a save and try again. And that is where the real challenge emerges. There is nothing difficult about this. You can think of it as a VATS only run, but VATS only works 14% of the time. Realistically, it would only be 10% because the perk would be at the first rank. To use rank 3 of the perk, you'd have to get to level 41 without attacking anything you'd need to somehow get 66,000 XP without attacking anything, and that would just be a fucking nightmare. This is the sort of challenge that is annoying without being fun. You'd be avoiding as many enemies as possible, because you don't want to deal with the pain in the ass that comes from engaging in combat. I've done more than a few challenges that have been annoying. Doom 2016 with a pistol sucked. Every enemy encounter required constant movement. You had to wait for the pistol to charge up in order to do anything besides tickle the demons. And towards the end, you could easily spend 10 minutes frantically running around and shooting in an area, only to die and have to do it again. But the game itself is fun. This isn't that. Of course, the challenge itself is perfectly possible. It just wouldn't be entertaining. There's only so many times you're allowed to say, and of course, the mysterious stranger didn't show up in a lifetime before God decides that you're done. But what if, after everything I just described, you wanted to make it worse? You wanted to make it as horrible as possible. What if you failed the challenge and had to restart the game if the mysterious stranger didn't show up? Well, that would be unpleasant. A little pain is nice in the right circumstance. Being hung upside down by your kneecaps while melted candle wax drips into your nostrils is a good time. Being lit on fire, put out and sprayed with lemon juice is the opposite of a good time. Many other channels have gone down the gamer probability rabbit hole. The most recent one I remember seeing is Pinkasprey Yellow's video about being fucked by Lorelei in Pokemon Red or Blue or Yellow. Assuming you start at level 1, you have a 1 in 10 chance of getting the mysterious stranger to spawn when attacking in VATS. I don't know how many enemies are necessary to kill to beat Fallout 4. Let's just say that you're conservative in your murdering and only kill 15 people throughout your entire playthrough and that the mysterious stranger always kills in one shot. The first enemy you find, you'd have a 10% chance of the mysterious stranger killing them. Then the next enemy has a 10% chance to be killed. Now you've got two back-to-back -back rolls of a 10-sided die that need to land on the same number twice in a row. Then three times, then four, and on, and on, and on. So, 
practically speaking, to get through Fallout 4 without having to reload the game because the mysterious stranger didn't show up, you'd have a 10% chance to kill the first enemy. You'll have a 1% chance on the second, a 0.1% chance for the third, and it keeps going lower the more enemies you have to kill. If you restart every time the mysterious stranger doesn't show up, your odds of getting through Fallout 4 by only having enemies killed by the stranger are 1 in 1 trillion. But we can actually put the odds a little bit more in our favor if we save the victory speeches for later and do a couple hundred little tricks. On April 11th, 2018, Tomato Anus beat Fallout 4 in under 40 minutes. I watched the entire thing and noted how many creatures he killed. He killed 9 things, unless I missed any which could have happened but I kinda doubt it. He killed 9 creatures over the course of 30 minutes. He didn't kill anything in the last few minutes of the speedrun. If each one of those creatures had a 10% chance of being killed by the mysterious stranger and you were to restart every time you didn't have the mysterious stranger attack, your odds of getting through the game are 1 in 10 million. Take a newborn baby, sit them in front of a TV as soon as they emerge from the hole, condemn them to a life of suffering by making them play Fallout 4 with only the mysterious stranger perk until they die at the ripe old age of 103. They'll probably never beat the game, that's how unlikely this is. Now there are times when Tomato Anus shot NPCs to skip dialogue, but I'm just lumping all that in with my depression and pretending it doesn't exist. Changing the 33 minutes to 35 or 37 would change the odds, but not enough to matter. It's not something you'll ever be able to do anyway. To answer the video title's question, yes, you can beat Fallout 4 with only the Mysterious Stranger perk. You can, you could. It's a thing that on a technical level could happen. It's not like there's something in the game stopping you from doing it. There's no real reason why you couldn't. It would just be incredibly time consuming and boring to do. Reloading a save every time the mysterious stranger didn't spawn would get old faster than you'd think. I have the patience of someone with less patience than the average person, but even I'm not willing to put myself through this. And that's going to do it for this lackluster video about whether or not you can beat Fallout 4 with only the mysterious stranger perk. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Thanks to the Champion Tier supporters as well as other channel members for helping make videos like this one possible. Join the Mitten Squad Discord server through a link in the video description. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.